You're gonna give me a heart attack one of these days, you know that? I hope so. I thought you had class late tonight. I wanted to surprise you. Need soup out of a cup one more night. You want Chinese or pizza? Move in with me. What did you say? You heard me. What, you're morally opposed to living together? No. I'm morally opposed to making important life decisions after great sex. Mm. 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 That's good thinking. So, so, marry me and have my children. Very funny. Are you serious? Only if you say yes. Okay. Yes. Just like that. Just like that. You don't want to think about nope. it. Nope. Do you? You know what's missing from this conversation <laughs> is a rock. Not like that. All right, maybe like that. <laughs> We're gonna do this again, real soon, with the diamond. Okay, so I'm just gonna pretend this never happened. That's right. Except for the Chinese food part. Oh, right. Which I'm gonna go get right now. I'll come with. No, no, you stay here and you relax. I love you, John Gannon. Emmy's got no answers to a whole lot of questions. Best guess it belongs to a white male in his early 30s, doing the prince now. Now, how exactly do we suppose he got separated from this hand? Well, some plastic or synthetic weapon, maybe, seeing how there's no metal filings or residue in the wound. Mm-hmm. How's your partner? 
How do you think? Your place, John. Not so far, nothing. Take us through it one more time, John. She went out for Chinese. She took her car. You heard her scream. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And she wasn't into anything that you know of. No. How long did you know her? Eight or nine months. What's that got to do with anything? What's he saying? John, there's no record of a Ruby Wilder. At least not in the national database. No DMV, no social security number, nothing. Are you sure that's her real name? Yeah, I'm sure, Lieutenant. Frank, did you check the college, huh? Sure, Shoreline Community. There's no student record. No, that's... That, that, that's insane. She's a... She's studying dance, okay? She's a, she's a dancer. I pick her up there every Tuesday and Friday. She may be taking classes, but she's not registered. Not under Ruby Wilder, anyway. No bank account, no credit history. Social services got nothing. She's not known local at all. She cleared Wasik. John, this is either some kind of mistake or... Or your girlfriend's a ghost. I saw your poster at the Texaco on Highway 5. Boy, I sure hope I'm talking to the right guy. Yes, yeah, this is John Kanan. Listen, uh, that girl in the picture, I, uh, I think I gave her a ride. What was her name? Ruby. Yeah, that's right. Ruby. Real pretty girl. I picked her up, uh, oh, geez, I don't know, must have been in March, I think. And, uh, well, anyway, I think it was her. Oh, yeah, freckles, Irish accent. No, she was an American. With, uh, had real clear skin, real clear. I remember that. Where was this? That's the, uh, east on 77. Way the hell up in the Cascades. I dropped her off at the Wolf Lake exit. What'd you say your name was again? You need to be more careful. Hey! Hey! Hold on! I'm a police officer. Yeah, well, you don't look like one. Okay. 
What? What is it? That's what? What you're running from. You are a cop. Well, let's go. Let's go. Come on, what are you waiting for? If my dad finds out I'm gone, he's gonna go totally berserko on me. Put this on. Thanks. Hey, you're from Seattle, right? You know Tommy Rule? Tommy Rule, who shot five people in that Tacoma Mall last summer? Six, including the state trooper, which was later. Yeah, you're right, six. Uh, no, I don't know him, he's in prison. We play chess, over the internet. Do you think that's twisted? Depends, is he any good? Eh, uh, his end game's weak. It's not for you. Just watch close. Egg. Palm. Gone. <laughs> Parlor tricks. Why, why do they fascinate us? You know. <laughs> oh, no, no, please. Don't encourage me. I could go on all night. <laughs> yeah. Is there a waitress anywhere around? Glock at 38. Pardon? Strap to your left ankle. 9 millimeter or 38. 38. <laughs> Old school. Hmm. Sherman Blackstone. John Kane. <laughs> Please. So what brings you to our little paradise in the pines, John? Can't be official business, not when you show up on a two-wheeler. You don't miss a thing, huh? <laughs> That's funny, you know, because... Uh, Sometimes I think that in a past life, I must have been a scout for, uh, oh, I don't know, Custer or somebody. No, wait, that's wrong. We don't believe in past lives. That's a Buddhist thing. <clears throat> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, well, to tell you the truth, I'm starving. What's up with the service around here? Well, after midnight, we're pretty much on the honor system, so you can just uh, help yourself to the kitchen. What, what you mean just to... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. There's a money jar in the fridge. And oh, watch out for Rusty. What? And this must be Rusty. Oh, 
you don't mind making your own bed. Not at all. Oh, we could always wait for the maid. Of course, we'd have to hire one first. flat going into the verse. What do you expect? I'm singing to elevator music. Uh, Sheriff Donner, this is Detective... Kanan. John Kanan, Seattle PD. Good to meet you. Likewise. Uh, he's tracking a missing person. Yeah, we just got a lead that she might be in the area. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Well, let me see that. Well, she's not from around here. I'd remember someone who looked like that. Uh, plus, we don't get too many strangers passing through. Could you take another look? She might have uh, dyed her hair, cut it. She could be using a different name. I'm afraid not. You positive? Well, I am willing to be proven wrong, but yeah. Well, uh, you probably know this place better than anybody, but I'd like to continue making inquiries. I mean, within the limits of jurisdictional compliance, of course. I don't see any problem with that. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Thanks. Uh, would you mind if I put up a few of these around town? Not at all. Tw 25 years old, breaks your heart. Ollie, double check me on this, but you don't think this could be Dina Rose, do you? Dina? Um, you mean the girl checker at the market? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, she quit that. Um, she's housekeeping for the Lane Triplets now. Come to think of it, she did drift into town about six months ago. Thank you. She was great with the boys, but when it came to cleaning up or putting the dishes away, she was useless. She'd just sit there all day watching behind the music. Same Def Leppard one over and over again. When did you let her go? I didn't. She took a job over at Brendan Dickey's farm. You think she might still be there? If they have a TV set. I don't know how you do it. This is nothing. She see Rosemary David. She gave birth to quintuplets last Tuesday. Hello. Go back to the intersection, take your first right. You're putting about 30 miles short of the cup. Excuse me? The reservation. What are you, Cardinal? 
they're Spokane Indian. They have them both out there, God knows. Spokane's, they say, are the lighter skin variety. I can never tell the difference myself. Are you Vernon Dickey? Yes, I am. You know Adina Rose? Who's asking? Dina, honey, there's a police officer out here wanting to talk to you. Dad, you pick the lamest time to start these discussions. At least here you can't go hide in your room. You were off the lake last night, weren't you? How would you know? You were working the whole time. Don't play me. You know I can tell when you're lying. Okay, so what? Am, am I, like, grounded now? We all know what goes on out at the lake. Now there's drugs. Dad. You make one little mistake out there, there's no turning back. Your whole life is blown just like that. No college, no traveling the world, no career. Just this town, just this life. You've told me that a billion times. I get it. Well, I thought we were together on this. I'm 16 now. Don't I have the right to question stuff? Not about this. Get back to work. Dad! They are watching you. They are testing you. They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. You don't belong with them. Maybe I do. No. Trust me. You won't find what you think you're looking for. Mom found you. Great tips for me. That last one was right on. Well, dead end, huh? Happens. Now, you see, that's the right attitude. It's not the end of the world, regroup, start over. Me, I guess I'm a type A or something. Wasting my time like that makes me crazy. I start thinking, hey, maybe that sheriff's jerking me around. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing about you. Hmm. We need to keep an eye on each other, then. Well, I've been on that since last night. said to you when we got in the business. You said a lot of things. What's the main thing? The main thing? You know. Uh, I said we never ever deal X to the kids on the hill. Never. Keep it in your section of town. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was disappointed. When we first met, I said to myself, there's a guy who gets it. Now. I don't know. It's crawling with kids on the weekends. How am I supposed to tell the difference? <laughs> Can't happen anymore, Fletch. Should never have happened. No more. I swear.
Come on, give me another chance. Fletch, take a nice long walk home. Use that time to look deep within yourself. Find a way to be better at your job. Relax, buddy. Give the guy a fighting chance. John Kanan. John Kanan, homicide, Seattle Police Department. This is Ruby Cates. I knew her as Ruby Wilder. And for the last time, where is she? I'm not leaving until I get an answer. I'm Willard Cates. This is my wife, Vivian. We're Ruby's parents. Everybody lies, detective. I run a brewery. Distributors, bottlers, grain brokers, the janitorial staff, they all lie. For the sheer pleasure of it, I sometimes think. The earth spins on an axis of denial in an orbit of deceit. I'm sure it's the same in your business. It's the only thing you can count on. <laughs> but the people in this town aren't lying to you. They're protecting me. Us. Our family. He's right, us. We sign most of the checks in this town, and... Everybody knows how hard we were hit by this. Two years, detective. Can you imagine that? Not ever hearing from your own daughter, not even knowing where she was. And the last time you saw her was? At Kerner Job. It's a private hospital outside Spokane. 
To your knowledge, was she ever violent or destructive in any way? Never. Only self-destructive. Suicidal? Um, what about other relatives? Old boyfriends, roommates, anything? Don't you think we have tried? Don't you think we have racked our brains? You're not here because you're a policeman, are you? You're here because you loved her. Founders Day Parade, Lady of the Lake. Look how happy she is. Why didn't she talk about any of this? I don't understand. She wanted to forget about us, I guess. Erase her history somehow, be somebody else. I don't know. I saw the most beautiful thing last night. What? Outside my window, just, uh, just sitting there at the edge of the lake. A white wolf. A white wolf? Well, that's very rare. Do you know what the Indians would say? They would say that someone is watching over you. That you have found your way into Kokomut's favor. Kokuma. The spirit who made the earth. Well, let's hope that's true. Come on, Sophia. You don't have to take the whole thing. Just take half. I don't know. This stuff is not hype. Sean, chill, all right, man? For the girls, anything that isn't yes is no. Anything that isn't yes is maybe. She could tell her dad, idiot. And I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> No big deal. We're just gonna party a little. Sean, let her out. Let her out, Sean. I said let her out.
it's me. It's just the nearness of you. Sing it, gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. That woman is a natural born soul sender. Eggman. Did you find what you're looking for? I don't know what I found. <laughs> it's a shame to leave confused, but uh, what are you going to do? Did I say I was leaving? Are you staying? Oh, I get it. What we got here is the enigmatic stranger tonight. May I suggest a worn poncho and a cheroot clenched between your teeth? <laughs> Adios. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh, I thought that uh, I made a mistake. Yeah, I guess you did. Listen, I got, uh, I got theirs, all right? No human deserves a view like this. The toilet seat wobbles, and it slips. Wobbly seat? Can't have that. Might hurt yourself. Is he gone, a little weekender? Not yet. I guess it was too much to hope for. What? That he would leave of his own free will.
didn't have to kill it. Tranquilizer dart for relocation. It wasn't going to hurt me. When they lose their fear of humans, they're the most dangerous. We've been tracking her for days. Her? Boys, see to it he gets back to town in one piece. You're a lucky man, detective. Forgive me. Minor crisis in the woods. It's a pretty ravenous little backyard you guys have got, but you know all about that, don't you? I don't know where Ruby is, if that's what you came here for. I came here to ask you what you saw in the forest that night. I know you saw something, and I know it frightened you. I'm having deja vu. Didn't we have this conversation? I think I saw it, too. Okay, just for a second. It was, it was huddled in a car, but I can't explain what I think I saw. Could be the altitude. You listen to me, please. Ruby Cates is very important to me. If she's in any kind of important, danger... Important, like, if I find her, I'm going to get promoted and, and be in all the talk shows and get in all the newspapers, and, and my book about it could totally be a Keanu Reeves movie. No. More like if I don't find her, the entire rest of my life isn't going to have one true moment of joy or meaning. Important like that. Is she here? A lot of people are trying to make me think that she isn't. What does that tell you? You know, I never got your name. Sophia. Steel trapping, snaring, aerial hunting. Strychnine poisoning. These techniques are mainly used by government personnel and private citizens motivated by payment of bounties. All very effective on the wolf because they travel in packs and occur in such low densities. Therefore, if he so desired, man could exterminate the wolf from the face of the earth in less than six months. Now I ask you one more time, what is the most important thing to the wolf? Come on, I want to hear it. Survival of the pack. That's right, my little brothers and sisters. Survival of the pack. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode.